Hey YouTube, Big Sal here. Want to share something with you that uh, my wife recently picked me up at an auction. These are Cox control line planes, which are usually gas powered with the little outboard high motors like this example here. These are not. These are called electric chargers and they are battery powered control line planes. They were offered in the mid 70s. They are a uh, Spitfire design plane. Get this box open real quick. As you can see, they were a Spitfire design plane. And uh, how you charge them is they had a set of NICAD batteries in them, small NICAD batteries, and you actually put a six volt lantern battery in these holes in the back of the fuselage right there and charge the battery up battery time was about two minutes and uh, they were offered as an alternative to the fuel powered planes I guess they're a little easier for the kids to handle Anyway, I got two of them, and of course, being 40 years old, the batteries didn't work. So I decided to take a chance and split one. And this is what I found. Uh, I had to split this. I had to pull the canopy off, which sat here. And there's a clip that sits in here, right here. And it clips into here. And they were glued along this seam here and this seam here and what I did was I took a razor saw and carefully separated them at the seam and they pretty much came apart pretty easy now these have a uh, single elevator control this control wire for the elevator one single elevator on one side of the horizontal stabilizer and uh, detachable landing gear and uh, very flexible wings and they are plastic like um, styrene plastic so they should be fairly easy to glue back together but let's get to the inside here what we have here is a I believe it's a 3 volt motor These are the, they are actually copper, um, not wires, they're copper, not tubing, they're, you know, copper. It comes back here, and this is where it gets charged. This being your positive, this being your negative. How this whole system worked is, these batteries right here were tack welded together. In this configuration to give you 2.4 volts these are what they call one-third AA cells and they sat in this area right here made contact with this copper wire and this copper wire here which then this wire continued from back here hit the positive came all the way up front and goes into the motor this wire here is the negative contacts the negative side of the battery comes up here and turns into a switch and there's a switch right here and I will take this apart and show you uh, these are loose, so this will come out like this. Let me get my other hand. I'll pull the motor out. Everything in here is loose, so so there is pretty much the empty thing, and this is everything inside. This is the switch area right here. Now, how these two made contact is. 
once this is mounted in the fuselage it's under spring tension and this switch here is on the control horn there's uh there it is right there this right here which sticks out of the other side of the plane in that slot on the fuselage and if you look at it it says off on and how this worked was when you shut the plane off it was in that position when you pulled down elevator it would put it in the on position and then it pretty much stayed there while you controlled the plane now how that worked was it would hold these contacts apart until that slid out of the way of the flat spring part these two wires would make contact start the motor so you pretty much didn't need another person to hold the plane and start it for you while you got it airborne and you could pretty much do everything by yourself so anyway we'll get back to the way these just slip in I mean if anybody ever gets these and wants to work on them these wires slip out of the motor so you can just give them a little tug and they come right out and as you can see they're flat let me get the focus here. Yeah, they're flat. So they fit right in. Same thing with the the other copper. It's flat on one end. They had a lot of corrosion on them from sitting, so I've been cleaning them up slowly. But that's pretty much uh, everything that's inside I mean it's not a hard process to take it apart you just have to be real careful when you're cutting the front with the razor saw you want to make sure you make a nice even cut so you can glue it back together and uh, without any too much trouble and uh, like I said I went online and I found there's quite a few companies that carry one-third AA or one third double A cells hard to find NICATs so I ended up getting 280 milliamp nickel metal batteries the company will even tack them together the new cells to make the pack the way it's supposed to look like this now with these two together they will still be 280 milliamp they are in series, which will give me a final voltage of 2.4. The only thing I probably won't be able to do is to utilize the 6-volt lantern battery to charge them because it would put them in an overcharged state and would take long to ruin them. But anyway, that's the project. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions or you have one of these and you wanted to try to restore it if you have any questions hit me up in the comments and i'll try to answer the best i can all right thanks for watching